We're headed into the spring market, which traditionally is the most active time of the year for real estate in Toronto and elsewhere. Hey guys, my name is Morgan Little. I'm a realtor here in the greater Toronto area who makes videos like this to keep you up to date on what's happening in the real estate market. If at any time you wanna pick my brain, ask me any questions at all, feel free to book a call with the link below and I look forward to chatting. Till then, let's talk about the spring market. Typically about 70% of sales happen in the first six months of each year, the bulk of them being during the spring months of April, May, and June. Now in 2022, we hit the peak, not just of the year, but really of all time in late February. So it wasn't a normal spring market last year as rates began to climb, pushing prices slowly down as we moved down from the peak. Nor was it a very normal spring market in 2021 either, which was pretty crazy throughout the whole year. And now in the first quarter of 2023, as we approach April and the spring market, we've seen extremely low activity so far, due in part to the multiple interest rate increases since this time last year. So what can we expect to see this spring? Only time will tell, but I will chime in and give you my thoughts and you can tell me yours in the comments below, please do. One thing for certain is there's a lot of uncertainty in the market and a lot of people have been sitting on the sidelines, but, prices actually increased in February for the first time in a year, even though there has been for many months and still is talk about the market crashing down. I'm not gonna get into the whole market crash aspect in this video, but I will say we still have a supply issue when it comes to housing, especially in entry level homes and an ever increasing demand. So don't hold your breath on the market crashing. People still want and need places to live. It all really comes down to your goals and what type of home and in what type of area you're looking at. Because for the majority of people, including a lot of the Toronto Property Finder users, they're looking for either entry level condos at five to 600,000 or entry level homes, detached or semis, anywhere in the 700 to 900, even up to a million um, in areas like Mississauga or Oshawa or the surrounding areas of the GTA. And so, this makes those market segments that much more competitive because there are more people vying for them. So all that being said, I do think we will see prices start to come up a little bit. The Bank of Canada held overnight rate in March, which keep in mind only affects the variable rate and HELOC rates, but that did seem to give a little boost to buyer confidence. Meanwhile, the bond market, which has an effect on the fixed rate mortgages, which are generally the ones people are gonna be looking at, are down at this point, meaning fixed rate mortgages are down. We have been seeing multiple offers happen again already, and there are a lot of these are being deliberately underpriced to draw multiple offers. It's not the same as last year, I promise, but be prepared to potentially come up against this if you're making offers. You should be working with a realtor who can provide you the data and help guide you through the process. Now for sellers, spring is the time that a lot of people wait for to come on the market, but like always, and maybe more than ever, you should take the time to prepare your home to be sold. A nice paint job goes a long way. Small repairs can really help a property show well. And if your realtor recommends staging, it's probably for a good reason. And for buyers, affordability, as always, is key. Talk to a mortgage broker. I'm happy to recommend some, just shoot me a message. But go get pre-approved, find out what price of home you should be looking at. If you've saved your down payment, talk to a mortgage agent, been looking at properties on Toronto Property Finder and have been waiting for the right time, then really there's no time like the present. You should take a long view when looking at real estate. And if you do, you'll see prices trend upwards, not down. But if you're not ready, then please don't rush in. Don't take on something that's gonna leave you house poor. Talk to your realtor, make a plan and work towards the goal of home ownership. I really hope this provides some clarity moving into the spring market. None of us have a crystal ball, but those are just my thoughts. If there's anything I can do to help, feel free to reach out by booking a call with my Calendly link in the description below, and I'm happy to have a chat. Till then, stay well and stay hungry.